When we perceive the energy, we can flow with the energy, which allows us to read the energy, so we can follow the instructions embedded in the energy. As we become increasingly fifth dimensional, we will begin to have sensations of our light body and of light language. These sensations often begin at the base of our spine, or sometimes just behind our heart. These sensations arise from the Kundalini energy, which is our personal, formless, inner light body. Wisely enough, a lot of us who came down into our third dimensional vessel slightly remembered what it was like in our other third dimensional incarnations. So we were able to remember that when we came to Earth, we did not arrive via a ship or a boat or a spacecraft, but we came to Earth on our essence. In other words, we allowed our essence to flow into a physical Earth vessel. Simultaneously, we left a greater percentage of our life stream in our multi-dimensional bodies and on the higher dimensions. Hence, that higher component of ourself can send down messages and communications to assist us as we move through our daily life in which we are wearing a 3D Earth vessel. We came into this third dimensional vessel when a portal opened into our form. Hence, we came in at birth, when there was a near-death experience, a high fever, an accident, or an extreme illness. All of these experiences allowed our third dimensional earth vessel to open up to higher frequencies of ourself. Once the higher frequencies entered our third dimensional vessel from our higher dimensional self, they blended with our third dimensional consciousness. In this manner, we humans are multidimensional beings, right here in the third dimension. Also, because of these sparks of our own higher essence that we have allowed to enter us through our opened portal, we connected to the higher light of the now of the one. We truly came from the one, and within the one there is only now. As we fully embrace our higher light, we can remember our purest essence, and we remember that separation is an illusion of the third dimensional reality. We, our essence, remembers that it is the now of returning. However, many have become so attached to our human self, and our physical earth, that we do not want to leave this planet until we can experience Gaia in the ground, royalty of her fifth dimensional planetary self. This fifth dimension of Gaia is to be filled by the ascending ones who have created a peak of society in which great souls, artists, and higher dimensional, multi-dimensional beings are able to locate their own energy field in that fifth dimensional essence. That fifth dimensional frequency of Gaia is what we would call New Earth. It is fifth dimensional Earth. We have lived on third dimensional Earth, and we have gone through the wheel of life and death from third to fourth to third to fourth. Now we are ready to graduate into fifth dimensional Earth and can choose to be amongst those who were beginning to inhabit and enliven that frequency of Gaia. Only a fifth dimensional beings can inhabit a fifth dimensional reality. Thus, in order for us to inhabit fifth dimensional Gaia, we must transmute into our own fifth dimensional earth vessel. Many of us have taken incarnations in other times on Gaia, or on other planets, which were similar to what is occurring on earth now. Whenever a reality is on the up cycle into peak societies or a down cycle out of peak societies, there is an opportunity for immense soul growth. Once we return to our fifth, sixth, seventh and higher dimensional self, we forget about the time in between the up and the down because we are no longer resonating to the frequency that holds time. Therefore we can remember the now in which a new society is booming simultaneously or with the now in which a society is falling into its own decline. In this manner, we have an intimate experience of the cycle of birth and the cycle of death. We took these earth vessels because from the perspective of the higher self, we cannot understand an immensely polarized society. Most of us come from galactic societies in which there has been no conflict since the end of the Great Galactic War. Therefore, when we come down into a third dimensional society, it is quite shocking to realize that there is so much conflict and fear without enough love and light to balance that darkness. Another difficulty is that in some societies, such as the one that Gaia is moving out of, the beings are often so deeply involved in the act of being human that they don't realize that other species are sentient. They don't see the sentience in animals. They don't see the sentience in plants. Most important, they don't see the sentience of their planet. They know that they are a sentient being, 
but somehow they don't realize that the huge globe that they are inhabiting is also sentient. Fortunately, that old illusion is ending as the higher light is becoming stronger and stronger. You may ask, how much higher light do we need, and what frequency must it be? Our answer is that the higher light is infinite. Also, the higher light has no limit and no time or space. We speak of the multidimensional light that was always there, but just beyond your perception, because your consciousness could not attend to a frequency of reality that was so much higher than the frequency of your consciousness. Before you began to accept the higher light, you only lived in the frequency of third dimensional physical illusions. We wish to remind you that every reality is, and always was, within the now of the one. And it is through the process of, perceiving the higher energy fields of reality, merging with those energy fields, flowing with those energy fields, and listening to the messages in those energy fields, that you, the ascending ones of Gaia, are able to shift into the higher frequency of Earth that you are now inhabiting. You inhabited the third dimension when you were alive on Earth, then, you died in that life, and you inhabited the fourth dimensional frequency ring around Gaia. Now you are preparing to resonate to the fifth dimensional frequency ring around Gaia, which is the fifth dimensional version of Earth. We tell all this our beloved ones that you are amazingly opened portals who are able to daily accept the higher and higher light into the crown of your head and pull it down through all of your seven chakras to ground this energy in the core of Gaia. You also volunteered to keep your portal opened. Hence, your physical earth vessel is serving as an open portal through which the fifth dimensional energy can flow through you to be grounded in the core of Gaia. Being an opened portal is no easy task, and we don't expect that all of you will be able to give that service for all of your 3D time. In fact when you are in time, it's because your consciousness has dropped, and you are busily engaged in the experience of being a human. Then when you have time to meditate you can go into the now of the one and open your portal. When you open your portal, the higher light comes all the way down through your body and down into the core of Gaia, anything less than the resonance of your fifth dimensional self becomes loosened from the illusion of your physical body that you are wearing. At that point you may experience intense emotions, illness, or injury. What is actually occurring is that when that higher light comes in, it loosens up any blockages that you have inside of your body that are limiting your ability to fully expand your consciousness into the fifth dimension and beyond. Please remember these are not feelings to be had, but feelings to be released. We remind you all, our dear Ascending One, that letting go of that which is over allows you to deeply embrace that which is beginning.